it is Thursday night, and one of my favourite TV shows was back. Wednesday, it's Peaky Blinders. Got to watch that now. I'll tell you what I thought. I do have somewhere a portrait like Peaky Blinders, me, standing next to a horse. I can't find it. I'll try and find it by the end of this video. Um, but yes, if you watch it, comment, let me know, send me a DM. I think it's going to be sick, but we'll see. It's now Friday morning, Peaky Blinders was wild, really good episode, really good if you don't watch that and watch the whole series is before it and then watch it catch up, that's good. As you can probably tell, I'm full of cold, but uh, Friday morning I'm going to try and train legs, try and get a few clips, uh, maybe a workout you could try. Uh, but yeah, when you're ill, you're feeling a bit cold, it's okay to train, but like I'm not going to go out of my way to get my heart rate flying up, I'm not going to go running out in the cold, in a warm gym, probably go a little bit lighter, just focus on getting the quality technique, um, but yeah, rather than rather than just sacking it in, you've got to, got to get something. So loads to catch up on after that workout, went to see Justice League. I really, really liked it, but I really liked DC and the whole universe. So it was really good. Now it is Sunday, gonna do a food shop and prepare so that I've got good food for the whole week. Show you what I get on Thursday and Friday this week. I, well Thursday I'm going to Manchester for a pre and awards and then back Friday. So it's gonna be a bit higgledy piggledy. It's gonna to be tough to get stuff done, but I'm gonna try my best. So uh, yeah, and there's gonna be some early, early morning sessions and some late night sessions as well, just to get everything done. But just gotta keep playing. What's she doing? This is the longest shop ever. What seasons do we need? Basil. Basil, eh? I love home bargains. Looking for a plug for our bath, because I need a bath to recover, guys. Recovery is important. For me, I just like baths. Didn't have an announced her, so now home bargains, which is the best shop ever. What a sorry state of affairs. Effectively, because we've not had a bath yet, because we haven't had a sink, sink, a plug, plug. Uh, we didn't know that the hot tub doesn't run that well, so. Maybe I have to get the front back in for that. So I've got the shower head and then filling up kettles and just chucking it in there. I've started now, but I should have just given up, but it ran well for half the bath and now it's just stopped. So I, I'm gonna commit now, commit to the bath and then football later, very big, important. All right, it's so now 10 to nine, Sunday night. I am um, just got my chicken on the oven. So now we've got an oven that works. I do that instead of the George Foreman because as you probably saw from one of my previous videos, I was burning everything somehow in the George Foreman. Uh, but yes, yeah, so you just prepping my meals. I'm at Cardiff Gate tomorrow, not the normal pure gym, just uh, still learning to do my, my job basically. Um, but yes, so doing that, and yeah, I think if I was lazy, like I got back, I was a bit tired, I hadn't cooked, I hadn't had my meals, then I'm more likely to make a mistake or waste money or, you know, it is, people go on about it about pen, but it is important, it is relevant, it is worth doing. So just do it. <laughs> Don't be lazy, you'll save yourself time and effort and money. That's the, those are the, like, the best things you can ever save yourself, really. Um, but yeah, busy week ahead. I think I'm gonna go to bed by by nine. I'm I'm seventy on as well. I don't wanna. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I may stay awake. Who knows? Another thing is these. So I've started going to Anstas and buying their own sports nutrition bar. These are literally one pound twenty. So you're not gonna find a protein bar for much cheaper. I got twenty two grams of protein. Uh, a little bit higher fats than a grenade carb killer, but. They're pretty much cheaper. Um, when it comes to protein bars, I find that none of them taste that fantastic. They taste okay. Um, and yeah, they, they're hard to get. So realistically, tw uh, 12 grenade bars, even from Costco, is 18 pounds, which is quite a lot. So they're about 120 each they are. So, you know, not bad price. 
but yeah, so just cut, cut the corners if you can. They also sell protein bars in Home Bargains. They're only a pound first act. I've had them last week. They're pretty decent as well. So you don't have to go with the grenades. You don't have to go with the MyProtein. You know, if you look around, you're sensible. Most places these days now are more health conscious uh, and they are willing to have protein bars in stock. And I'd recommend them because realistically, it's still synthetic protein. I know people will be like, oh, it's the type of protein in there. But, you know, it's not the best anyway. They aren't something to rely on, but they are a useful tool, should we say. And uh, I know you're probably not even concentrating because look at this. Look at that. Bam! That is my other account, the Milky Bar. If you ever want to find my weakness, it's white chocolate, not kryptonite. The last thing I've done there, guys, I've actually gone onto my MyFitnessPal and I scanned a lot of that food for tomorrow. So effectively, all I've got to do tomorrow is open my MyFitnessPal and it'll just tell me what to eat. Like, it's really not that hard. Uh, just another good tip to take on board with you. Just put it, no, you can even put the whole week in advance, like just the day in advance is fine. Then you literally open your phone and it tells you what to eat. Like, that's join the dots. Anyone could do that, right? So yeah, so I've done that. I'm all prepped. Busy week ahead. Gonna kill it.